89.3 KSBJ, it's J.P. Spees. Have you ever had something that you were working, preparing for? And I'm talking about above and beyond the norm. You know, extra time, maybe even extra money spent to prepare for whatever it is that you had your sights set on. And then something completely unexpected happens, and that goal or that dream is no longer possible. How do you respond to something like that? My nephew Paul is not even 18 years old yet. And over the last several years, his parents spent extra money. He's dedicated extra time, sweat, and effort, giving up Saturday mornings, um, days during the last few summers, doing what he has a passion and drive to do. And he's been successful at it, too. And in one moment, the unexpected happened. See, my nephew Paul's been, been training to be the best high school quarterback that he could be. And going into his senior year this year, after transferring from a small private school to a new and much larger public school, he was really excited not only to make the team, but to be the starting quarterback. Opening night, first game of the season, well, he shared with me what happened. Well, we were behind in the third quarter, making a drive down the field about the 40-yard line, break the huddle, go up to the line, I catch the snap, start rolling out to my right to make a pass, and right as I step to throw it, I throw the ball, plant my foot, and a defender's helmet and shoulder pad, he dove down to my legs and he hit my shin with his helmet and shoulder pad and I fell to the ground. I looked down at my ankle and my foot was sideways and the paramedics came out. They called an ambulance and so I went to the hospital that night, went to the emergency room. They told me what was wrong and told me what had happened and it turns out I had to have surgery the next day on Friday morning. He had surgery the next day and they put like a plate and seven screws in his ankle to repair it. And so how do you respond to something like this? How will he respond to something like this? Something you worked so hard for, sacrificed for, had a passion and a talent for, and you're done. Through my nephew's heart, I'm encouraged as to how I should respond in those devastating, unexpected life moments. Because following the injury, while he was at the hospital, he texted this to his friends and family. I told God I would give him all the glory no matter what this season. Everything is in his hands. God has a plan. Not too much later, another message to friends and family. I thank God that I got to live my dream of being a starting 6A quarterback, even if, even if it was only for three quarters. Now I get to glorify God through all of this. What a refreshing perspective from a young heart when life doesn't go the way we want it to. Love that young man. Serving God by serving others. I started volunteering.